In this video, we will look at how to divide numbers. Before we look at the calculation, we're going to understand what it means to divide numbers. So we're going to look at a simple example, six divided by three. So say we have six circles and we have three buckets that we want to equally allocate these six circles. So now what we'll do is we'll move the circles into these three rectangles and try to allocate equally. So we'll take the first circle and we'll put it in the first rectangle. Then we take the second circle and put that in the second one. And then we move the third one and we put that in the third one. So now each one has one and it's equally weighted between each one. So each one has one each, so it's the same. But we still have three left, so we need to do that again. So we put one again in the first one, another one in the second, and one in the last one. Now we have two in each of the three rectangles. So this means that our answer here would be two, because when we have six items and we want to divide it between three things, we get two in each situation, in each rectangle in this case. So the answer is two. Now, another way to look at this is we are splitting it into buckets of three. So we can write our three times tables, three, six, nine, 12, and so on. And then we stop when we reach our target six. So here, our target is here, six, and this is on our, not our first, but second. So hence, this is our answer, two, which is what we said here. So we're going to look at another example. Let's say we have the question eight divided by two. So we can use a similar example where we have our two times tables because we divided by two, so two, four, six, and we continue this until we get to eight. There we go, we've reached eight. So now we have four numbers written down. So the answer here is four. Let's have a look at another example. Let's say we have the question 16 divided by four. So again, we're divided by four. So we need to write out our four times tables, four, eight, 12, 16. There we go, we stop there because we've reached our target, 16. We have wrote four numbers here. So our answer here is four. Let's try one more. 35 divided by five. So here we write out our five times tables, five, 10, 15. And we do this until we get to our target 35. 20, 25, 30, 35. So now we count the numbers that we have here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our answer is seven. On this particular example, we're going to also explain how you can check this. Now, division is the opposite of multiplication. So if we were to multiply these two numbers, five and seven, so five times seven, we should get 35. So five times seven is 30. Five. So that's our check. Now let's look at another example. Let's say we have the question 42 divided by 2. Now to write down the two times tables until we reach to 42 would take quite some time. We would be doing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and we keep on doing that until we get to 42, which would take a long time. So there's another method we can use, which is the bus stop method. So we draw the bus stop and right inside here, we're going to write the first number 42 inside the bus stop. And then what we divided by the two, we put outside. Then we divide the two into each of the numbers. So four divided by two, we stop at this point here. So that's our second one. So we know our answer is two. 
and then we do 2 divided by 2 that's your first one so we know our answer here is 1 so our answer here now becomes 21 and that's a lot quicker and a lot simpler than writing out your 2 times tables until you get to 42 let's have a look at another example 85 divided by 5 so again we can write out our 5 times tables until we get to 85 10 15 20 but it will take a very long time so let's use our the bus stop method so here we write the 5 outside and the 8 and the 5 inside the bus stop and then we say how many 5s goes into 8 so here's 5 then we get to 10 so we've gone past the 8 so that means we have the first one that's where we stop so our answer is 1 but then we didn't actually reach 8 we only got to 5 so that means we have 3 left over because we were trying to reach 8 but we only got to 5 so that 3 we put in front of the 5 here so now the question becomes how many 5s goes into 35 so we continue our times tables further 35 so now we stop there because that's how many we needed and now we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 numbers so now this is 7 so our answer here is 17 now we will look at one more example so we'll look at 92 divided by 2 so here we will write out our two times tables on the side 2 4 6 8 10 12 and we'll draw the bus stop on the left hand side 9 and 2 and we'll put this 2 outside and then we'll go 2 into 9 so 9 divided by 2 so we go 2 4 6 8 10 oh we've gone past it so we stop at 8 so that's four numbers so our answer here is four but we only reached eight we wanted to get to nine so we have one more to go so that one more gets carried forward here then the next question becomes twos into twelve so so then we go two four six eight ten twelve so that's six numbers there so our answer here becomes six so 92 divided by two is 46 you can download the application on Google Play or App Store, and you can visit our website mathslegends.co.uk.